हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ सच मोर प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ वी आर गिवन दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम फोर्स एफ दैट कैन बी सपोर्टेड इन द पोजीशन शोन इफ ईच चेन कैन सपोर्ट अ मैक्सिमम टेंशन ऑफ सिक्स पाउंड बिफोर इट फेल्स राइट सो वी आर रिक्वायर टू फाइंड दिस फोर्स एफ मैग्नीट्यूड and it is said that this ab chain and this ac chain can support a maximum tension of 600 pound before they fail right so from observation from inspection we can say that the ab chain will have maximum tension as compared in comparison to this ac chain right so let's say that the ab chain the tension in ab reaches its maximum let's say that the tab that tension in ab chain is let's say 600 pounds right so then we will find this force f magnitude for this condition right so now if if we represent the tensions in both of these chains right so one tension will be the tension ab will be acting in this direction right and then the tension in this ac chain will be acting in this direction right let me represent that force f as well right so this is let's say that force f so now if if we draw the free body diagram right so this will be our free body diagram and here it is given that this force f is making 30 degrees with this ac right so we can represent that as well so let me put this force f here and if i extend the line of action of this force f right so if if we extend this line right so then this force f is making 30 degrees with this tac tension right and this is the tab and as we can see that we are given this triangle so this means that the angle of this tension in ab is given right so this theta is given so let's say that this is our tab this is let's say tac and this tab is given this is 600 pounds right and we are required to find this force f right so we can find this theta let's say this is uh, the theta so we can find this theta by using that triangle so if i apply tan theta so tan theta will be equal to this is the triangle right so we have this triangle this is 3 4 and 5 and this is theta so tan theta is perpendicular divided by base so we can say that this is 3 divided by 4 right so we can find theta from this triangle as well and now if i draw a if we draw the coordinates right so let's say that this is our positive x and y axis is let's say that this is my positive x and this is my positive y so now as we can see that if this is 30 degrees so then this is also 30 degrees both of these angles are vertical angles right and we know this theta angle right so this theta angle is given from this triangle so now if we apply the summation of forces along x and the summation of forces along y so then we will be able to find this force f since the system is in equilibrium right so for that we will resolve these forces into its components right so then this force f will have one component in this direction and this will be the cos component we can write that this will be f cos of 30 degrees and similarly we will have one another component which will be acting in this direction and this one will be the sine component we can write that this is f sin of 30 degrees and similarly we will resolve this tab into its components right so this tab will have a uh, one component in this direction right so we can say so well, this one will be the cos component right so this will be tab and tab is 600 so we can write 600 cos of this theta and from this triangle we can find cos of theta as well so cos of theta is base divided by hypotenuse so we can write that this is 4 divided by 5 so we can write directly that this is 600 into 4 divided by 5 and similarly this tab will have one another component which will be acting in the positive x direction this will be its another component right so this one will be the sine component so we can say that this will be 600 sine of theta and from this triangle we can say that sin of theta is perpendicular divided by hypotenuse so we can write that this is 3 divided by 5 right so we can say that this is 600 into 3 divided by 
right? So now if I apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0, so as we can see that this TAC is acting in the positive x direction, so we will write TAC, this is plus, then this cos component, so it is minus F cos of 30 degrees, right? And this component, right? So it is also acting in the positive x direction, so we will write plus 600 into 3 divided by 5, and this is equal to 0. So, as we can see that in this equation, there are two unknowns, right? So, we cannot find the force F magnitude from this equation, right? So, let's apply the next equation. So, this is the summation of forces along Y equals to 0. So, now as we can see that this component is acting in the positive Y direction. So, I will write 600 into 4 divided by 5. Similarly, this component is acting in the negative Y direction. So, we will write minus F sine of 30 degrees and this will be equal to 0 right so in this equation we have only one unknown so this will give us the magnitude of the force f directly right so if we bring this term to the other side of the equation so this will become positive so we will have this equation and from this we can see that f will be equal to 600 into 4 divided by 5 divided by sine of 30 degrees so force f comes out to be 960 pounds right so this is the solution of this particular problem and now if we use this uh, force f magnitude in this equation so this will give us tac right so that tac is not required but we can uh, find the tac value and we can check if that tac value is less than 600 pounds or not right so let's check that value as well right so from this equation we can write that tac will be equal to plus f cos of 30 so f is now 6 960 cos of 30 degrees minus 600 into 3 divided by 5 so from this equation tac is equal to 471 pounds right so this is 471 pounds which is less than the maximum tension that it can support right so it is less than 600 pounds so this means that the system is okay it will not fail right if the tension in ab is 600 pounds so tac will have the tension of 471 pounds right and f will be equal to 960 pounds